the fall of 2012, University of Alabama Honors College students, working in partnership with student filmmakers from the Department of Telecommunication and Film, embarked on a semester-long service learning collaboration with neurologist Dr. Daniel Potts and his Tuscaloosa-based Cognitive Dynamics Foundation. Together, we are exploring the benefits of art therapy for patients with various stages of dementia to bring art to life. Art to Life is a service learning opportunity for honor students at the University of Alabama. Art to Life was conceived from our experience with my dad who became an artist after the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease because of art therapy. So seeing what that did for him, we started a foundation called Cognitive Dynamics to bring these therapies to others like him. Out of that foundation and in partnership with the University of Alabama Honors College, we established Art to Life, which is a service learning course which exposes students to the benefits of uh, art therapy for those with Alzheimer's disease and other dementias and also helps to preserve the life stories of those individuals afflicted with that disease. In the beginning of the semester, students experienced a dementia simulation exercise, which gave them a better understanding of what living with the condition is like. The dementia simulation was actually terrifying. Like, it was like a haunted house is really what I felt like because I didn't realize that it, it affected everything. We try to give the students as good a, an idea of po as possible about what patients and caregivers go through. I, I think this is an important way to do that because we can teach and we can talk about it, but for them to actually, with all of their senses, begin to feel what it's like, I think is very important so that they can walk in their shoes, walk a mile in their shoes, so to speak. Throughout the semester, students learned the medical aspects of dementia and caregiving strategies for those with Alzheimer's. In addition, they considered the importance of preserving a person's life story. To produce digital life stories for each participant, the students learned techniques of digital storytelling. I think the pairing together of the TCF students and faculty with our Art to Life students has just it's just opened up many, many new opportunities. It's made the course very much stronger. I think it's been good for the students to be able to interact too and to learn about life story preservation. How do you elicit a life story? How do you preserve it? So it's just strengthened the whole experience. The primary importance of the life story is to validate the human being about whom we're preserving the story. And secondarily, it's to expose these students to the rich and varied lives of individuals with Alzheimer's disease. I think it's important. I think for the university to offer a course like that, it's important. I think for the students in the honors class, they, you know, they get a great experience to work with us, and we get a great experience working with new people that are new to the subject. And when we're working together, everybody's learning. And so it's just, it's cool. One thing leads to the next. What I love about making documentaries is that you're always meeting new people and learning about the human condition. And I have absolutely loved going to art therapy, meeting the participants and their families. I think that's probably one of the things that I'm going to love most from my experience at the university. After many classroom lectures, reading on dementia and art therapy, and learning about story preservation, it was time to immerse into the art therapy sessions. Art really is the universal language. Despite cultural differences, despite language deficits, art does tell the truth. It comes out, you will see it, it's amazing. Art links caregivers and families and the community, which is what you're going to be doing. You are a very intricate piece of this. So why use art, especially with this? Art has a therapeutic value in medicine and research and well-being. Art tells a story about the artist, it builds confidence skills and an ongoing effort to communicate, and it helps reduce anxiety. Art therapy is strictly about the process. It's the creative process. After art therapy, we, we're always just in the best mood. You know, that's definitely like the highlight of our week, being able to go to class and hang out with them and then just leave and feel like I did something important. You know, I didn't just go to class, I got to hang out with people and like, it made them happy and it makes me happy. I think service learning is important because it gives you hands-on exposure to things that you otherwise might not do. The fact that the University of Alabama offers this class shows that they really are committed to developing their students into well-rounded people who've had various experiences that other people might not get to have. And then also that they care about the community that they're in. They care about their students being a part of the community and helping serve others. 
I've learned that it's so necessary to stop and to slow down and to listen and to talk to people and that that is one of the greatest ways for me to to be content and to be happy. But I think a greater part of it is you feel like you've really spent your time well and you've connected with people and you've hopefully um, offered, offered them some happiness and some relaxation and sometimes I think that I get more out of it than they do, you know, because I enjoy sitting there and watching them and listening to them. It makes me so happy and I feel like I've really done something important even though all I've done is sit there and, and talk and ask questions. I think it's wonderful that the university is open to alternative means of therapy and healing and I find that in the medical field they really are open to this and I think Dr. Potts bringing this uh, in conjunction with the university is really exciting. I think it helps students to understand that there is a person behind the disease and that we need to remember that. I've grown so much in this program. I came from my own dad's death and experience uh, with a passion and a desire to do something for somebody else like somebody did for him. And the University of Alabama Honors College gave me the opportunity to offer that to students and to other individuals. I think the sky's the limit with this. I would love to see it be offered in every honors college in the United States. So I don't think there is a limit to, to what this program can be. Honestly, I can't picture like a year at UA without Art to Life. It's been so incredible and it meets so many of my interests. Working with this population has been so enlightening and inspiring to me and, and I, love, I love being with them. I think it's fantastic and I hope that it expands and I think that it's one of the most valuable experiences that I've had so far in my college career.